do most people know how they got PAH? Well, uh, for me, this is always uh, the most frustrating uh, part of knowing that I might be able to diagnose somebody with PAH, but I really can't tell them why they got the disease. And I think that we have become much and much um, more savvy at understanding what types of underlying medical conditions might cause or put you at risk for developing PAH. So I would say, at least in the United States, we feel that the vast majority of our patients, we, we tend to be able to pinpoint what we think kind of triggered the development of PAH. But there continues to be a category that is called idiopathic. Um, and that group of patients who have idiopathic PAH are people that we just still don't know. We maybe in five years or 10 years or, or longer than that may be able to identify it. But currently we know that the disease is there because the disease is based off of numbers that we get during a heart catheterization, but we may not know what it was that triggered it in that individual. But again, like I said, most patients, we do feel like we can say, we feel that this is what puts you at risk for developing it and therefore treating PAH, but also considering, do you need treatment for the underlying disease that caused it? Mm -hmm.